Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. In this video, I'm going to do a little Inkscape tutorial on how to create a button, a custom button in the VCP. For this example, I'm going to use this button right here that's uh, blue and yellow that says Big Exhaust Blower. So there's a uh, customer with the handle BMF on the forum, and he posted... Uh, under the show me your custom vcps thread that he's having trouble with this exhaust blower graphic that he's trying to make for the vcp and uh, he was given some correct advice here from cnc services northwest and then he fired back that he's still having a problem well i suspect that he doesn't have his letters selected you got to have the letters selected so this button has words on it, obviously. So let's talk about this in general. So all the graphics on the VCP are consisting of lines and arcs. Uh, the VCP buttons uh, do not support fonts. So if you open up Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator and type a bunch of words, you're using fonts at that point in time. And before the button will display properly in the VCP, you have to use that graphics program to convert your work, your letters, into lines and arcs. It's really simple to do. In Illustrator, it's called uh, Convert to Outlines. And in Inkscape, it's called Object to Path. And this information is covered in page 38 of the VCP manual. There's some troubleshooting on when the VCP won't start due to various typos that can happen, or the image displays just fine in a browser, but it won't display here on the VCP. And so number four here is what we're talking about. Convert all fonts to lines and arcs. So you can use any font you want, any size shape, but before you save out of your graphics program, you gotta do the create outlines or convert the outlines, I think they called it now, and now in Inkscape it's object, object path. Okay, so I've downloaded um, BMF's SVG, which I asked them to post. Uh, whenever you're having problems, don't just say, I'm having problems. Post the file, post the graphic, post the freshreport.zip so we can help you, so I can do good advice like I'm doing right now. Okay, so we got the file. And I loaded it up, and here it is. I got the brand new version of Inkscape running. And so, yeah, it looks great. No problems, right? Well, one of the first things I'm going to always do when I open up a new SVG file in Inkscape, I'm going to hit Control-Shift-L, which opens up the Layers panel. So the Layer panel just appeared here on the right, and there's a whole bunch of layers there, which I kind of find, a, find kind of odd because this button's incredibly simple. It's a blue rectangle and these words. So what's all these layers doing here? But... We'll talk about that more here in just a second. So here's the words the customer has added. How do I know whether these are lines or arcs or text? Um, well, I kind of have a couple hints. By looking at this layer here, since it's all one thing, I'm pretty sure that's text. But there's another simpler way to check. And it's a little bit more obvious. I'm going to double click into it. And look at that. I get a cursor. And I can change the words well if i can change the letters this is still a font this is not lines and arcs okay so we need to get this into lines and arcs so it's prepped uh, just like the manual says for use with the vcp well how you do that is you select what you want to convert the letters that you want to convert and you go path object to path Look what happened over here on the layers, too. Wow. A whole bunch of sub-layers showed up underneath this. That's because that's all the lines and arcs to make these letters. All right. We are almost ready to put this on the VCP. I'm just going to hit Control-Z, and I'm going to have a little fun with this, and we're going to do big exhaust blower is what I want on my button. Put it up there. Do... Uh, path, object to path. There we go. We converted it, ready to go. Now, as some general advice, it, you only want in your graphics, your button graphics, your SVG file, the stuff you actually want. So if there's hidden layers and stuff that is hidden or off the screen or 
not in the uh, uh, the artboard here. Get rid of them. So I'm going to go home over here. I mean, they're just going to cause problems or they might or might not. But why carry along all this extraneous stuff that might cause some graphic issues in your VCP? So I'm just going to click on these things and try to figure out what they were. Wow, this one's got a bunch of paths underneath it. So there's looks like there's a couple rectangles here. So, hmm. Yeah, none of this has anything to do with my button here except for this one path down here. This is the blue rectangle, but this isn't. So I'm just going to hit delete. I don't need it. Get rid of it. What is that? Some other text that's hidden? Oh, I'm going to hit control and mouse squeal. There's an M55 hanging out in space over here. Yeah, I don't need that. So I'm going to hit delete. All right, what about this? Some other rectangle that I don't need. What about this? You know, what is that? I don't know what that is. Get rid of it. Bam. Okay. There we go. There's our blue rectangle. Just for my own sanity, I'm going to name that layer blue rectangle. I could even name my text here. Big exhaust text. So when I come back. Now, if I'm doing a lot of button work, what I actually like to do is get my button exactly the way it is. And before I do the object to path conversion of this text to lines and arcs, save a copy of it right before you do the conversion. That way, if you ever want to come back and edit this, you still have the original that's built out of the fonts, which is easier to manipulate than this. So that's just a little bit of advice there. Now, I could go File, Save, and open this up in the VCP, and there's going to be a problem. And I'm going to point it out right now. Look down here in the lower left. Here's all the colors of things that you can choose in Inkscape at the bottom. And you have, for any lines and arcs, like paths, um, for any paths, you have fill and stroke. And right now they both say NA. So if I select something, it says unset, unset. It said NA because I didn't have anything selected. Okay, so let's let's select the rectangle. Hey, look, fill is blue. Okay, that's cool. Let's select these letters. These letters on the screen right now, you can see it with your own eyes. They're white, but down here it says fill, unset. Hmm. That's going to show up as like a grayed out thing in the VCP is what that I need to pick the color. So if I pick the color that I want, any color that I want, that's the color that it's going to be, including white. You've got to pick white just because it's white on the screen. It's just showing you that it's not actually the fill is the way this was came in and was working. So I'm pointing out, always check down here your color. I'm going to change it to yellow so it's really obvious and hit file save now i went ahead and just replaced that file with the m58 button here on the stock vcp and fired it up so you can see it so that's it in a nutshell a little bit of inkscape uh, and illustrator uh, how to convert your fonts to lines and arcs so the button works with the vcp good luck with your projects take